Okay, so we're going to talk about how to do your trees. Trees. First of all, you got to put the wood down through here. I'm going to start about like the third green guy down. Just push that down. Then we're going to trim that up on top. We're going to start at about the third guy. Now, here's the thing that makes these cool. you got to bring them all the way over. That way they um, lay a little bit flatter, and it's going to be on top of the green guy. One, two, one, two, three, and then you're going to go underneath four. So that means that you've used five, right? One to go under, two to go under, and three to go over. Okay, there's the first one. Here's the second one. All the way over to the side, under the same place, just uh, like an X. So now in the next one, usually you keep going, but what happens if you do that is it gets a little bit lopsided. So what I did is I kind of changed it up and said for two sides, we'll go on the right starting out, and then we'll lead with the left for two. I don't have these wet. I think dry works better for this particular venture. So now I've got two started on the right, and then I'll do two on the left. Start now. So you just want to grab the next one up. And once again, you want to make sure you keep them all the way over there. These pine trees fan out. So my next one is going to be on this side starting out. I really need a weave right tool with this. Make sure it's all the way over. And I come up to the next one. Okay. Push that down. So I got two on this side and two on that side. Then I'm going to come over here. Finish this one. That's a little bit long. So we're going to trim that up. It goes underneath this one. And so we're going to start it again on this side. And about right there. So it's easy to get confused about which one you're supposed to go under. So I always look. Think, okay, well, yeah, I did two on this side. But I gotta do this one yet. And we go. Once again, oops, now see I made a mistake. It goes under this one. It's easy to do. So if you check it, then you don't have to pull it out. Always works well. We've got one on this side. one on this side. And up to the next. Okay, so you can see I've got two here, two there, two here, two there. And what that does is it just keeps it from being overly bulky on one side, it's bulky enough as it is. So I'm going to come down here and grab this one. And you see I'm covering up the wood here. We'll pull that all the way over. Do another one on this side. here. Now what I did, I think I did one more, and then what I like to do is this. These last ones, you're trying to get more to the center, so it looks more like a pine tree. Okay, so you're kind of bringing those in and then doing the last one at a point. That ends up showing that a little bit. The other thing that you can do instead of doing that is just keep, keep going up, and that's fine too. It just looks a little different. 
You see that one's a little bit more bulky. That's before I started doing the two and two. They still look fine. It's just a little different. And also with these ones, when I started out, I didn't have them. I had them close in instead of having them all the way out. So um, you want to make sure you push them all the way out. I think I got better with my trees as I went along, but all trees are a little bit different. So there are my basket too. Okay, so I'm going to do two more of those. And like I say, you really got to use your weave right tool on this to open these up. Got two there, so I'm going to start on the other side again. So I'm just about at the point here where I'm going to put those two tips together. Voila. There you go. You just bring them in together a little bit. And then I've got my two, 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 and the last one's just one. But the first one was just one down here too. And that's how you do it.